What is good everyone and welcome to a brand new video today I'm gonna to be giving you a bunch of tips on how to improve your aim make your shot more consistent in Call of Duty And just make you an overall better player So you're getting more kills getting more wins and having more fun So first things first you gotta have a comfortable controller if you play on controller first thing I use a scuff gaming controller military grade grip on the back two paddles the uh, What's it called mouse click triggers very very helpful. I like this a lot So if you're playing on mouse and keyboard find a comfortable mouse find a comfortable keyboard that you enjoy using second You want to really make sure the sensitivity you have is good and it's according to your play style and your goals So a lot of professional Call of Duty players play on 6-6 six, six. I say that's like the average of the sens sensitivity people play on but that's just in competitive play That's like the best for competitive play low. I play on 661. That's just my personal preference but some people play on like 0.9 and all other stuff it all just really depends but let's say you want to be you're in the sniper community a lot of snipers play on a super duper high sensitivity so they can get crazy clips they just look like, like some of the clips i've seen have been insane but they're able to spin around the map faster react quicker and see things and get some crazy shots and get some crazy feeds but then you might just want to be a slower ar public match player you might want to be the best public match player and let's say playing on 4-4 is what's best for you because that helps your m16 one burst more play on that so really just align your sensitivity with your goals and what you're trying to do as a player and then all the rest is kind of just personal preference like i play on tactical that's personal preference a lot of people play on default i play on flipped so i shoot with my uh Figures right here uh, and then I play on dynamic instead of standard that's personal preference as well but what I'm saying is find a comfortable controller or mouse and keyboard a comfortable sensitivity and that's where you get started on the first step of improving your aim the next step to improving your aim is making sure your centering is always on point and will give you the best opportunity to get more kills and I will show you how to do that now you want to use your crosshairs of course and have your aim on the person you want to have that dot over the person's body at all times or where you think the person is going to be because you're not always going to see the person but you sometimes just have to guess and expect them so one thing that is very very important when you are running around the map let's just say i'm on nuketown for example i'm running around and i'm making sure i'm t i'm turning my stick my analog stick accordingly there's a doorway right there they often spawn over here so a lot of times when i'm running through this doorway i'll be already centering so if someone walks through this door i see him spawn i just aim in and start shooting that's kind of what you want to do you want to have your centering on the hot spots of the map let's say a lot of people like to play this window if i go in this truck i pre in this door don't see anyone don't see anyone right there maybe you send a shot to the wall the wall bank didn't hit anyone i know people are going to be in this window i center up there then i strafe out and I'm just ready for the fight. Because a lot of the times you might catch them not ready, not preamed at that angle. But since you focused on your centering, you centered at the hot spot of the map, I'm ready for any gunfight. Anyone that runs through that doorway or anyone I see just spawning up. So what I want you to do on certain maps you want to get better on is literally just run around, center at the doorways, center at the alleyways, and just continuously move your stick. Like I'm just going, I'm just turning it to where people could be. Someone could pop out at this front door at any moment and I'm ready for it. This is one of the best tips I can give and this is what every professional player and very good player does. Just shooting bots before you really get into the pubs before you play anything serious. Just making sure the shots warm, the movements warm, all that good stuff. And one thing I like to do, let's say I've been struggling on a certain map recently. I'll put the free for all on that map so I can just get used to the lines of sight. I can get used to the power positions and kind of just the angles to center at because you know where people are gonna be. So right now we're playing garrison to warm up, but it's so, so important to warm up. And it's really good because you just learn more about the map the more time you spend on it. So you'll do better on it when it comes down to the actual gameplay. So make sure you're shooting bots every day. Like I said, you don't need to shoot a lot of bots, just a little bots to get the day started and then hop into something serious and you'll be warmed up and ready to go. It is very important to make sure you guys have the right attachments on your weapon. The weapons are gonna give you the least amount of recoil possible that makes it easier to shoot. Uh, so I have the spend as compensator on. This took a little while to get used to because your vertical recoil control is much better, but your horizontal recoil control goes down a little bit. So it took some time to get used to, but I am liking it. Uh, then I have the steady aim laser because steady aim laser is important and it really helps with the hip fire, especially if you're just starting out because uh, you're hitting that first bullet is the most important bullet in the fight. Because usually when you hit the first bullet on the enemy, your, your other bullets are gonna follow, you're gonna hit them, they're gonna connect and you're gonna get the easy kill. So ha having that first bullet right when you're starting to aim from the hip to aim in is very important. So that's why having steady aim laser is great. I highly recommend all you use it. And then using like spent as grip or spent as speed grip to get the horizontal recoil control. Uh, it's just it's just awesome. So without further ado, let's get right into the gameplay. Fresh new game of Nuketown. I'm gonna be supplying you guys with the best centering and the beams. Oh my God, the other team is 
all up in our base already. We gotta get them in map control so we can push them out and get them in the spawn trap because we are the ones that don't want to be spawn trapped. And having steady aim laser on is such a big help. It just helps you hit that first hip fire bullet. And usually when you hit that first hip fire bullet, the rest connect after that. That's why it's so important to make sure you're hitting that first shot. Oh, there we go. Dirty Dan was ready for me, but I beamed him. We beamed him. We beamed him. All right, come on. Where else? What else? Going to the room. Centering at the doorway. That's the spawn kill. See another one. That guy's hurt. Oh, this guy's trying to run in there. Good try. Oh, we got pinched from the top steps. Yeah, I was spending a lot of time shooting, appearing on the mini map right there. I should have tried to maneuver out of there quicker and just been ready for uh, another engagement. And I was not, unfortunately. Oh. And one thing I still need to improve on my game a lot is actually a move that was used a lot in black ops 4 a lot a lot but it wasn't used that much in mw the shoot beat down when you do this oh wait oops when you do that it is so helpful and if you can have that uh movement down and make it consistent you will be getting so many more kills because a lot of times you're getting into those up close engagements on the other team and it just helps you with so many gunfights make sure you're practicing the shoot down shoot beat down as well as uh focusing on your shot and centering because if you're playing aggressive like i do it's you're gonna get so many more kills and if you don't have the shoot beat down down someone else that you're playing might and they might get the kill on you i don't know what that guy was doing he's playing on the middle of the alley there we go shoot beat down on display Two. Oh, what? Almost choked. Oh, what the heck? That was a dead body, Loki. He is not playing. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh, no. He ran away. Oh, they rage quit. Dude, the centering was too good. If they would have watched this video, they would be frying. They'd probably be spawn trapping us. Unfortunately for them, they didn't watch this video. Actually, wow, that AK-47 just melted me. It took me out. Oh my god, that gun is insane. Yeah, I see you right there. I see you. Wait, you're, you're... No, no, hit the beatdown first. Another thing that is all right is if you hit the beatdown first, it like mess... It like shell shocks them to where their character can't really move. It's it's a weird thing, but if you get the beatdown off first, it's not the end of the world, but it's just way better to get that shoot beatdown off uh, to get you the kill easily. A lot easier to secure it but you only hit that with the beat down there'll be one shot and it kind of slows their character down but it doesn't completely take them out three bullets oh grenade no one bullet bro if i had one more bullet that would have worked out there you are nade yes sir Oh, he's hurt. I think he's in this corner. Oh, he backed up. Oh, I stopped shooting. Ooh, that would have been really bad. He did a little jump step back pre-fire on him. There we go. 51 and 10 at the half. Not too, too bad. Honestly, guys, I think it's going to do it for this video. Hopefully, this video helps you improve your centering and your overall skill at Call of Duty. Thank you for watching me to the end. You are a real one. I will see you in the next video. And as always, my name is Attach, and I'm out. Peace.